The new POE League Settlers of Kalgor 3.25 is just over four days away. And in my last video, I explained the journey that I typically typically go through when a new league starts. I go crazy trying to find a build and decide what's going to be my league starter. So in my last video, I posted that on my YouTube channel because I have a lot of people in my community that are thinking about playing for the very first time. So I wanted to share kind of my research on the builds that I'm kind of contemplating. Well, anyway, during my live streams, I was getting a lot of feedback on other kind of builds and I wanted to follow up and make a part two on my last video. Now, before we get into potentially more builds that I'm looking at for my league starter for Settlers of Kalgor, I do want to do a huge asterisk on this video. I am not an expert in building uh, guides. I'm not an expert in creating a character from scratch. This is not me telling you this is what you should play. This video is clearly just recording my journey of how I'm picking and selecting a league starter for Settlers of Kalgor. Uh, just over four days away. So these are builds that I am looking at and I suggest potentially you may look at them, but I am in no way telling you these are gonna be the God builds. These are gonna be the OP builds for the Settlers of Kalgor, okay? So with that out of the way, I do wanna say many of you watch my content but yet do not subscribe. If you can find it in your heart to subscribe to my content, I would really appreciate it. It'd be confirmation and support of my said content. Okay, now let's get into a couple of more builds that I'm looking at as potential league starters. Some of them I'm familiar with, many I am not. And if you're in the market for a new build or what to league start, here are some potentials that you may consider. Again, I am not suggesting that you do I merely am stating these are what I am looking at. Okay, let's get into the builds. Okay, so first up, I got to do it. Everyone was telling me you got to go bow build. You got to go bow build. So first up is the lightning arrow elemental hit of spectrum. And this build was done by Cyclone Definitive. And again, folks, all the builds that I'm going to be showing and talking about in this video, there will be a link to the content creator that made the build and displayed the build all in the video description. So please make sure uh, you can get into a more in-depth review of the build, the play style, pros and cons and all that kind of stuff. Just do me a favor, support these content creators and give them a like. Uh, so Lightning Arrow, Elemental Hit of Spectrum, fair warning, this is not a cheap budget if your goal is to clear all the content i.e tier 17 maps then this is not going to be a cheap budget build so if you're worried about currency and not being able to earn it and get it um and therefore build up this character then this may not be for you now one of the pros is the fact that this is a cheap build early game and league star but again if your goal is to clear all the content and including tier 17 map this this is going to require investments with a lot of divine in order to get this ramped up to be able to clear tier 17s. Now, we do not know with 3.25 what the costs are with this new mechanic where we can earn gold and we can buy things uh, with the new trading that's in game. So this is all question mark. We have no idea what the market is going to change, how the market is going to change, sorry, when it comes to purchasing currency, because now we earn in-game gold. That is yet to be determined. But I do want to put an asterisk on this. This is a high budget build if you want to clear tier 17 map. Another fair warning is uh, 3.25 did nerf call to arms and enduring cry, cry, sorry, which are big for this build. But Cyclone's video does a really detailed um, explanation of this and how to get around it. There are ways to keep this build effective, which are explained in Cyclone's video even with the nerfs from 3.25 to call to arms and enduring cry okay so why would you want to play this build first of all it's a fast mapper 
It's a proven build. It's one of the more popular builds. It's a sc screen wide clear. And like I said, although end game, this is high budget, it is low starting budget. So if you're someone that really doesn't care about the end game and tier 17 maps, this is a low starting budget build. Okay, now what are some of the reasons why you would not play this build? First of all, if you wanted to take advantage of the warden buffs that are coming to 3.25, you are not gonna be able to take advantage of these buffs until later on end game uh in the beginning this uh taking advantage of the warden buffs will not be viable for this build if you're someone that wanted to jump on the warden buffs right away this build is not for you you're gonna have to wait till the end game and again cyclone definitive does a really good job explaining it in the video this build is not for you if you don't like squishy built it's got a do not hit play style so if you're one that doesn't like squishy builds this build is not for you and when it comes to boss damage this build really is, doesn't excel at uh, bossing and killing bosses so if that's a priority for you again you may want to stay away for this uh, you may want to stay away from this build what this build is meant for is meant for people that like fast paced mapping, ritual, legions, and expeditions as examples. So if you're someone that doesn't care about the end game, tier 17 maps, and you just want to fast, uh, clear screens, fast paced mapping, m low to mid tier mapping, this build is for you. And again, this is all subjective guys. This, we don't know exactly all how this is going to be interpreted in game when 3.25 happens but you can't go wrong with bow builds and this one definitely takes advantage of that so thank you cyclone definitive okay so for the next build i'm going back to an oldie but a goodie and that is a build that i've played many times and that is the righteous fire now for this build we got to go to the god of the righteous fire build himself i have personally followed and used all his build guide suggestions and resources and that is pox kappa again video uh, link is going to be in the description if you want to do righteous fire guys this is a fun build it's an easy build it's literally a one two button play style it's so much fun i i keep going back to this build that's how much fun it is i'm going to try to stay away from this build in 3.25 i do want to try something different but anyway if you want to know anything everything righteous fire pox is your guy pox kappa uh he has a website dedicated to righteous fire this is what he plays this is what he knows so i'm sure you guys have heard of him and according to pox 3.25 changes what kind of impact has it had on the righteous fire well according to pox for the campaign basically 3.25 kind of didn't change anything righteous fire is still going to perform in the campaign like it did in 3.24 now according to pox again the white and yellow mapping when you get to that point of the game he says there's a the same but a little bit of a nerf and then the end game like the standard tier 16 map he says that not, it's the same not much has been impacted um but if you want to build like a high end righteous fire build, like 20, 50, 100 divine kind of build, that those builds have been nerfed according to Pox. So again, take this with a grain of salt. Anything that is in reference to righteous fire build, I think you gotta go to Pox. If you're liking this play style, what we're showing you here on the screen, uh, head over to Pox and watch his video. Go, go to his website, he's got all the information on this now i will say he is saying obviously that it's still viable this is a fun build guys really fun it's easy i would suggest that this is probably top three builds when it comes to new players coming to path of exile very easy to set up and again you can literally have your ha hand held through all through pox's 
uh, builds and his website. It literally tells you step-by-step -step how to do things. So if you're new to PoE and you want your handheld a little bit more than someone that's played PoE already, I highly recommend this build and Pox is the guy that will help you through it. Up next, and this one looks like a beauty and has me very intrigued, and that's the Cyclone of Tomot. It's the Duelist class with the Slayer Ascendancy, and this build is brought to us by K2 Gaming. Again, video link is in the description, and this build is damage, damage, damage. Looks like so much fun. Fun, uh, unbelievable. I'm definitely going to give this one a review. Um, I got to give credit to K2 Gaming. His video is really good. His POB is awesome. Uh, I love what I saw so far. Um, so if you like what you're seeing on screen, and who wouldn't? This thing looks like a wrecking ball. Um, so why would you want to play this build? Number one, it's cheap, easy to play. It's got great clear speed and awesome boss damage, as you're seeing in the video unbelievable damage fast paced great clear speed looks like a banger now the caveat to this is the fact that the leveling is meh due to having to get close to enemies and being susceptible to stuns now k2 gaming gets into how to alleviate that but the leveling looks like again we're going by what k2 gaming is saying in his video uh, as i watched it it looks like leveling is going to be a little bit of a process so just be fair warned however if you plow through and get through that this thing is going to be a banger i have to say this is one build that really caught my attention as I'm piling through all the different builds that are a possibility in 3.25. Uh, this one I got my eye on. Um, so if you like cheap, easy to play, great clear speed, awesome boss damage builds, this build is for you. And thank you for this build, K2 Gaming. All right, guys. Those are another three builds that I personally will look at and are reviewing. I thought this was going to be simple, but the more I continue to research and the more people come into me telling me, go look at this, this just gets more complicated than but This is the most complicated I've gotten into with a league starter. Usually I start 48 hours out and I just pick one and boom, I'm in. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna get this one right now again, I am not recommending these builds that they're OP. They're the best. You should play them. This is just me recording and sharing my journey and how I'm picking my league starter. And for those of you that may not have the time to scour the internet like I am and look for potential builds, this hopefully will be a resource for you to take a look at what I'm looking at and maybe something might catch your eye. Um, so at the end of the day, I'm, this video is just me recording the journey that I'm going through on picking my league starter. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Come check out. Me. I'm testing all these builds. Well, I might not get to all of them, uh, but the next four days I will be testing some of these builds on my live stream. I live stream every evening on Twitch. Come and check me out. Channel name is Sammy Caps. I stream every evening, 7, 7.30 Eastern Standard PM uh, every night. Uh, come check me out. We'd love to have you. We have a cool and chill uh, community. Come over and say hello. We'd love to have you. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative. Get in the comments section if you got a build that I should be checking out. I would love to. I would love the help, and I would love to hear it. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.